Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video on the hamstring curl, specifically Gymnastics Body's version of the hamstring curl. It's a single leg hamstring curl. Whatever I say applies to the double leg, but I'm going to start with the single leg. The problem I often see with the single leg hamstring curl are, is that the legs are generally rotated out. How do I know? I see the feet splay out when the hamstring curl is being performed. That's all well and good, but what, what's happening is if you consistently perform that particular exercise, you're going to program in external femoral rotation on glute and hamstring contraction. So basically, it's gonna lead to externally rotated femurs over time. So if you do that too much, what we wanna do is hit the hamstring itself along the center line. So when we perform these hamstring curls, we have to ensure that our knee remains neutral and our toes are also aligned. That's another whole topic in itself because some people walk around with what's called duck feet. But let's just assume that your structure is fairly intact and sound. We want to perform the hamstring curl in this fashion, like on a train track that has no end and goes in a straight line. It's going to look like this performed incorrectly and then the second variation will be the correct version. Oftentimes I see the single leg hamstring curl performed like so. As the leg extends forward, the knee flares out to the side. Great for your outer hamstrings, but the purpose of this exercise is to develop balance. And again, we do not want to uh, ingrain external femoral rotation or tibial rotation uh, on a hamstring and glute contraction. So you have to ensure that that line is drawn completely straight. I want you to feel where your heel is on the ground when your toes are pointed up and your knees are neutral. That's the path and the pressure you want to take uh, when you're pressing down into the ground with that heel. So if you're really careful and you have a friend guiding you or a coach, even better. But what you want to do is I'm feeling for where my hand, uh, my heel is making contact with the slider. If I'm doing everything correctly, my knee should be neutral, toes pointing straight up, and I'm following that track. There you go. I also see, like I said uh, in the beginning of the video, I see that with a double leg uh, natural hamstring extension, which again will lead to this uh, worsening of your duck feet and or creation of knee varus or where your knees are kind of rotated out and you get that cowboy bebop look. We don't want that. We want a sound, stable structure. We want our feet aligned with our knees when we're standing, running, moving uh, as, a, as a base and we want to avoid any kind of internal or external rotation upon standing. So you have to be very meticulous with your uh, execution of these exercises because you can make you can be you can make things worse for yourselves than better and here at Gymnastic Bodies and at Evolta Fit we're all about making things better not worse so please pay attention to your feet and knee positioning on these hamstring curls and I will be back for more tutorials this week peace